It all started when I studied abroad in Paris, my first trip abroad alone. Now Paris has quite the reputation for having a lot of pickpockets, and all our friends and family warned us about them, especially my mom. We even had a relative who lost his wallet before he even stepped out of the Charles de Gaulle airport. So of course, my mom being my mom, she sent me off with the anti-theft bag. You may have seen these before, they're these little polyester crossbodies as locking zippers, anti-slash material, cut-proof straps, and even anti-RFID material. All really great stuff. But I had some problems with it too. The slash resistant material was only on the bottom portion of the bag, so the rest of the bag was at risk. The pockets were also too small and none of them fit my cell phone, so I would always toss it to the bottom of my bag. I didn't exactly win any style points either, but hey, I was traveling, right? That summer, I witnessed a number of my classmates and even my own professor get robbed, but I was safe with my dinky little polyester bag. However, I still had issues with the utility and the looks of the bag itself. I thought, we can do better. So fast forward a year later, me and my husband finally go on our honeymoon. We decided to go to Bali, Indonesia for its gorgeous landscapes, the beautiful beaches, and the gorgeous temples. So mom, being mom, sent us off with the same anti-theft bag to carry our valuables like phones, money, and passports in. I actually really enjoyed the bag. I liked knowing that all my valuables were kept safe in one place, and I liked traveling light. The only thing I wished was that it looked 10 times better, so I can actually use it on a day-to-day -day basis back at home. There was no way I was going to bring that thing to work. So the trip was going swimmingly well until we decided to go hiking in some rice paddies in a bud. Then we were really swimming. First it started with a couple of drops of rain, but then all of a sudden like sheets of water just came pouring down out of nowhere. At this point we were about 30 minutes away from our hotel and any form of reasonable shelter. So my husband actually tried to take his shirt off to like wrap around the crossbody, but it was useless. Once we got back, all our money, passports, and poor phones were all soaking wet. And guess which one stopped working? Mines. Needless to say, this experience helped spark the idea for the anti-theft waterproof crossbody.